the folks who put this together and have done so much for me over the years to make it possible to have that opportunity to work on your school board and now the State Board of Education, for which uh, I will be eternally grateful. It's been an honor and a privilege to do those things. And uh, it's quite an honor and a privilege to be in a house like this, Steve. Wow. Gorgeous. I'm sorry we drove your uh, better half away for the night. I guess you heard we were coming. <laughs> but tell Harriet that we did miss her and, and we thank you and her for having us in here. This brings back memories, actually, to tell you how old I am. You know, a little bit of the design of this reminds me of the Ponderosa. I'll bring hop sing if you'll bring the steak. Yeah, okay. I'll bring hop sing if you'll bring the steak. I'm surprised with all these trees that you had to kill that Arlington let you build it, but uh, you know, that's another story. It is lovely, and thank you for being here. And I want to thank, too, uh, Mark Kelly for making time to join us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. You know, if you've lived around here a while, as all of you have, that uh, your county board can do almost as much damage to you as your Congress. <laughs> so it's important that we get Mark in there. And thank you for the great campaign you're running, Mark, and for being with us tonight. I'd also be remiss, by the way, if I didn't say a thanks to somebody special on my team uh, who's joining us tonight and has been primarily responsible for uh, uh, the successes I have enjoyed over the years, uh, the last 36 years. I met him 36 years ago this I was month. Four. <laughs> now you know the source of my interest in pre kindergarten education. Oh, very good. But I appreciate you being here, my Brian. Uh, you know, if I'm recalling correctly, Steve, this uh, palatial estate of yours is just 100 yards or so down the road from Jamestown Elementary. And uh, it's a real mark of my dedication to your cause that I'm that close to an elementary school. I haven't been since I left the school board. <laughs> but I do remember that one well, and uh, it actually brings to mind uh, an occasion when I saw your opponent in a history class in one of our schools. Yeah, the incumbent was there sitting in on history class and uh, being his usual self-absorbed self and trying to lecture the kids on what a great man he was. And he said, you know, history is very important. When I was your age, he told one young man, when I was your age, I could recite every one of the president's names in order. Without missing a beat, the kid said, of course you could. There were only 12. <laughs> <laughs> now that sort of encapsulates the problem, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, babes, the guy's been around too long. Yeah. He's been in elective office, locally and in the Congress, for too many decades to ever be part of the solution. He's addicted to earmarks, to deficit spending, to piling up debt on your and my grandchildren, to a weaker national offense rather than a stronger national offense. He doesn't see its importance. And of course, he knows that the purpose of the franking privilege for which you and I pay yeah. is to send out a glossy perspective on his own candidacy just before every election. And you got to love his response when you called him on that, Patrick. Remember what he said? It didn't really cost a million dollars. More like a quarter million. Oh, yeah. Like that's nothing. He reminds you of the guy, I mean really, he reminds you, the analogy wasn't bad, I'll let you repeat it later, but he reminds me of the guy who sent in that letter to the IRS with a $10,000 check anonymous type letter that said, I'm enclosing my check for $10,000. I'm afraid I cheated on my taxes last year, and it's really bothering me. I can't even sleep at night. If I still can't sleep, I'll send in the rest. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way the guy thinks. But we got a better idea. We got a better candidate. We are going to be part, right here in the 8th District, of the revolution that's going to take place November 2nd when we start turning this country around and putting an end to flagrant earmarks, to deficit spending, to irresponsible debt, and keep our national defense and security mechanisms about which you know so much personally, Patrick, because you've been in our national defense, keeping them strong for future generations. So I'm going to close and get to the man of the hour with a test, right? I mean, I'm on the Board of Education, I like tests. I like standardized tests even. You know, the SOLs have their purpose. So I started thinking, what test would I give anybody trying to figure out how to vote this November in the 8th District? This is a really easy one, you know. The SOLs tend to have four or five multiple choices. This has just two. All you got to do is figure out you want to vote for Candidate A or Candidate B. All right, Candidate A. 
Canada Today believes that the recession is not over until you have a job and Nancy Pelosi loses hers. Yes. Canada B believes the recession is already ancient history, as he said publicly, but he still needs this job. Who are you going to vote for? Canada A or Canada B? Hey. Well, I'm hey. with you on that one. All right, Canada A served honorably in Iraq, Bosnia, and many other challenging and dangerous places. Canada B has served with the House, Eth House Ethics Committee. That's a dangerous place. Even though he's not a member of it. <laughs> what does that tell you? <laughs> You're going to vote for candidate A or candidate B? A. It's got to be A. <laughs> candidate A is a cosmopolitan, well-traveled, experienced man who speaks English and Russian. Did you know that? Yeah. Candidate B occasionally speaks English. <laughs> what are you going to vote for? A. Boston. Candidate A went to work at the age of 14, I believe it was, to help support his single mother. And candidate B is still looking for his first real job. <laughs> Are you going to vote for it? Hey. It's got to be A. And finally, Candidate A will win November 2nd. Candidate B won't know what hit him November 3rd. <laughs> Who are you going to vote for? Hey. All we have proved is that you are a member of the A-Team. You're a member of Patrick Murphy's A-Team that's going to bring back America and Arlington and the 8th District November 2nd, restore the principles that made us great, take our country back, and shock the Commonwealth and the country. Thank you for doing it, Patrick. You've got a load of wonderful supporters represented here and many more beyond here. I'm so delighted all of you joined us tonight. Thank you for running, and go get them. Happy to be behind you.